When the race did get underway, it was Ayrton Senna who made the best start down into that first corner. No Ricardo Patrese then, Senna leading from Prost, Nanini and uh, Nigel Mansell. But then there was drama. Mauricio Guzman locked up, launched himself off Thierry Bootsen's rear tyre and slid upside down off the track. There was chaos, drama and uh, a number of other phenomenal avoidances, including Jonathan Palmer and René Arnoux. Both of them out of the race, apparently. And Emanuele Pirro, also, also stationary. Nigel Mansell with a damaged rear wing and stationary on the circuit. There was Mauricio Guzlmin hauled out of his car, but fortunately, apparently unhurt. A remarkable accident. Guzlmin completely unhurt and walking away from his car as the fire extinguishers put out any potential fire there might have been. Guzlmin unhurt. The race stopped by. Uh, the permanent sp starter. Let's have a look and see what it was like from Thierry Bootsen's point of view. Accelerating away behind Nigel Mansell. That's the Ferrari you can see straight ahead of you. Down into the first corner. Alongside him is Alessandro Nanini. The two are close together. They're under braking now for the first corner. And suddenly there is uh, Guzelman flying over the top, knocking Thierry Bootsen off to one side. Look at uh, Olivier Guia, who goes over a piece of debris and then over the curb. Mansell is stopping. Bootsen is in trouble, slowing on the side of the track. And uh, cars coming past him on either side. And here is another viewpoint. Watch out for the smoke. There it is, into the side of Thierry Bootsen. Look at the way it just flips up that march over onto the onto the rear anti-roll bar, rollover bar, and Guzelman in the car. Arnoux has a similar incident with Jonathan Palmer. Look at the way Guzelman keeps his head off the track and miraculously escapes. A quite remarkable accident, but one that shows the strength of modern Formula One cars because there is Mauricio Guzelman, completely unhurt, quite calm, and saying to himself, well, I better go back to the pits and see if they've got a spare car for me up there. A cursory glance at his stricken race car. There's Nigel Mansell being towed round, having stopped on the circuit, no rear wing. The car involved in that accident in quite a big way, but he will be going back to either try and get that car repaired. No, he gets into what is in fact Gerhard Berger's car because Berger came in earlier on for the spare car. There's Alessandro Nanini taking up his position on the grid. And so the grid reforming a gap for Nigel Mansell, a gap also where Mauricio Guzelman should be, a gap also where Martin Donnelly should be, because all those three in the pit lane. But we have Alain Prost again on pole position, Ayrton Senna beside him, and then Alessandro Nanini.